No matter if you're a new technician or a grizzled veteran, you might have questions about how to properly lift an EV or even a conventional vehicle. We're going to cover four common questions about choosing the correct adapter when spotting a vehicle on a two-post lift. The first step is to always look for the proper lifting points, also known as jacking points or pickup points. These are established by the engineers at the vehicle OEMs and can be found in the vehicle service information or consulting the Automotive Lift Institute's quick reference guide to lifting points. If you purchase an ALI certified lift, a copy of the lifting points guide should have come with the lift, but because it is updated annually, you can always get the latest version on the ALI website, autolift.org. For some vehicles, including many EVs, the guide will list special adapters that might be required. But in most cases, it is up to you to identify the adapter correct for the job. Next, you will need to position the vehicle in the estimated center of gravity in the location recommended by your lift manufacturer. Then adjust the arms so they are directly under the lifting points. This requires actually getting down on your hands and knees so you can see the lifting points. Don't just kick the arms under the vehicle and hit that up button. This is where most techs get it wrong. Now is the time to use spacers under the adapters and turn the screw lift pads so they are even and closer to the lifting points. Press the up button to raise the lift until just before the lift pads make contact with the lifting points. Check the arm restraint gears on all four lift arm assemblies to verify they are engaged. If they are not engaged, move the lift arms back and forth until they have engaged. Raise the lift until the vehicle's tires are a few inches off the ground. You can now verify all four lift adapters have made solid contact with the four lifting points by gently pushing on the front of the vehicle. If any of the lift adapters are not making solid contact with the lifting points, carefully lower the lift and start over again. When should you use an adapter? All the time, because vehicles don't have the same OEM recommended lifting points. There is no such thing as a universal adapter. So unless you always work on the same vehicle, you will need various adapters to reach the different lifting points. The adapter choice depends on your specific lift and the vehicle you need to pick up. Using the correct adapters will make the vehicle much more stable on the lift and will minimize the risk of damage. What types of adapters do you need? Most shops will want to have a variety of adapters on hand to service a wide range of vehicles. For most EVs and other vehicles with unibody construction, you'll need to use a screw pad and an adapter like this. The tough polyurethane pad protects the vehicle lifting point and offers secure engagement. The screw mechanism enables precise adjustments. To pick up trucks, vans, and other full frame vehicles, you will need a frame cradle adapter. As the name implies, this type of adapter cradles the frame rail. The cradle can give you extra stability and security compared to a flat pad. But you should not use these types of adapters on an EV because the edges can pierce the battery pack. Benpack offers regular frame cradle adapters as well as wide frame cradle adapters for heavy duty frame vehicles. If the vehicle jacking point is a pinch weld, you'll need to use a pinch weld puck or pads like these that fit over the existing round contact pad adapters. The pinch weld slides into the slot on top of the adapter. Would you use a spacer or auxiliary adapter? Well, screw pad adapters like this are really versatile. Rotating the pad lets you quickly adjust the height for up to three inches. But sometimes that's still not enough to reach a vehicle's lifting points. That's where spacers come in. Spacers are often called truck adapters or pins, and they can be stacked to raise the height of the screw pad or the frame cradle adapter. These are almost always necessary when picking up a vehicle with a lot of ground clearance. 
like trucks, SUVs, and even vans. But they are also helpful if the vehicle has side skirts or running boards that the lift arm could damage. In those cases, if you have a lift with a low profile arms like the Benpack 10AP, you can slide the lift arm under the side skirt or running board and then add the necessary auxiliary adapters to enable the screw pad to make contact with the lifting points. Finally, I'll leave you with this one piece of important advice. Never use homemade adapters like these on your lift. They could fail, causing the vehicle to fall off the lift. I'm Andrew Markell, coming to you from the Bimpac EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.